All right, welcome back. It's still the news review segment right here on Breakfast Daily, and we're having conversations about the GJA um, event that happened over the weekend and the comments that um, the GJA president uh, made charging the president of the nation to combat Galamsey before leaving office. We're going to go um, into other comments that he made as well and asking the president and the police to, re to release their remanded uh, protesters. Um, so I want you to uh, make your comments off the back of that one and sure. then you can dovetail into, into that as well. Very yes. Um, quickly, thank you. I wanted to offer a quick rebuttal mm. to Victor's previous submission. Okay. Uh, inciting Dr. Ayu Afriye, that ranking member, nobody has done anything to say something. And you're 100% right, that, which is why you gave this example of that member of parliament during the Nanumba. Very good. Yeah. Fantastic uh, dichotomy that somebody does something wrong mm. and he's reprimanded. And so you're calling for the same thing to Dr. Ayuafri. Good. And I would support him in that particular endeavor. Mm. Support him in the sense that we need to speak up. Mm. If something is good, you say it. If something is bad, you say it. <clears throat> so on that same platform, Victor, yeah. what John Mahama said mm, in Adun Banso, that's in 2020, that if you're doing Galamse and you've been arrested, I will come and release you. <laughs> I need you here on this platform to condemn John Mahama. Because what you do is then you undermine the whole national project. That's like saying, if you're an armed robber, let's put the Galamse aside, you're an armed robber. I'll come and release you, go and sin no more, to use your words. We as political actors and leaders must not in any way, shape or form, Victor, somehow uh, cozy up to something that is inherently wrong. I'm an MPP man, and, but I put, and I put my partisan hat aside and say, what Dr. Are you free is saying is wrong. Am I right? Yeah. Hello, Mali. Yeah. So you should do the same thing on this platform and condemn what John Muhammad said. If he's now had a, what do you call it? Um, uh, what, what? I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> uh, Paul had that... Um, the Damascus movement. Damascus, yes. Yeah. I knew what you were going to yes. say. If he's Paul had this, <laughs> so if he's, if he's, Paul. Yes, if he had yeah. this epiphany, yeah. on the road to opposition, <laughs> on the road to damn whatever it takes, not Damascus, suddenly he's flip-flopped and said, what I said in 2020 is wrong, because it was wrong. It was wrong, Victor. Mm -hmm. A government, a nation is saying, let's cure this canker. And we start putting people in prison. I don't know. Does he plan to uh, release Aisha Wang also? Because during no. his time, he left her alone. No, no. But I'm coming. Yes. I, 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 it's just a rebuttal. Mm. So you put up a very salient point. Doctor, are you free here? What he said is wrong. I don't think we should debate about it. Mm. This one doesn't need me to be doing MPP or NDC. So in the same vein, condemn now what John Muhammad said in 2020, and we can move to the next topic. <laughs> no, Ibrahim, I think I've given the context in which John Muhammad said. You see, there are examples abound. Even when John Muhammad was there from 2012 to 2016, and Alaji, Inusa Fusini, was the minister for land. Mm. Hmm? The number of people who were even put behind bars for this illegality, uh, it's severally, it's dead, it's abound, you would see. Yeah. I, was, I was even involved of some of the cases that the people were arrested that were put in Kufuridia behind. It was. I've given you the context into which he said that, look, the little, little features that have been arrested, on second thought, when I come, this is what I think, right? At the material moment, that is what he was saying, that my thought is that you are little, little fishes within the water. So when I come, I will need you to get the information to be able to get to the real people. So if at the time that, in, the, in our estimation, that once we said it literally without listening to the full tape and only that portion that was listened to is wrong, who am I? to say that, yes, at the time who, when he said it, he wasn't wrong. Because it might be diametrically opposed. Because at that time, the clamor was that 
we have to put everybody behind bars. And his thought is that, look, it goes, it's odd to what the people are thinking. But that's why I've given you the context in which he said that. I, 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 I didn't understand. No. Okay. So there is an example that abounds that once he was even let's, in charge, let's make he progress. locked let's people. Make progress. People I, I, were locked. Respect. So I'm not saying, I'm not saying, Ibrahim, I'm not saying that if it is wrong, I won't say it's wrong. Because I was, was it also understood Victor. this from the manifesto committee, the People's yeah. Manifesto 2020. Mm. Because I was part of some subcommittee yeah. that understood it this way. So that's what I, the Victor, context I'm giving you. Uh, no, respectfully. Right. Was it wrong for him to say that? It's a quick question. You're saying no, because it's, it's contextualized. No, no. You're saying that he should go after little fishes. But he left the big fishes alone. I just gave you the Galamse Queen, Aisha Wang. Oh, yeah. oh come in, mm -hmm. Victor. No, let's be honest to yes, the viewers yes, here. Yes. Let's just remove this MPP and DC for no, a second. No, yes. I'm, I'm coming. Oh, fine. Oh, no, but I've said that. No, I said, so was it time. wrong for John Muhammad to say it? No. What he said, that they will release the Galam says, who have been lawfully, you're a lawyer. When you yes, yes, somebody, and I'm telling you And the third party releases them, what, what do you think of the judicial nature? That he's going to pardon with executive power criminals? Come on. Ibrahim, let me ask this question. Um, and, and we've spent a little too much time on this sure. anyway. But um, the, the approach that we are taking at this moment, mm -hmm. where we go to the field, Mm. And in the river bodies, um, in the forest, if we find the people there, we grab them and arrest those people. Mm. Is that the right approach? As opposed to, we know these people on the ground are li really, truly speaking, just a small fish. Mm -hmm. the, the true people who should be dealt with sure. are the financiers, the mm -hmm. big people that are faceless mm. and nameless mm. in some cases mm. who are really financing this yeah, thing. It, it because you clear a thousand people, they'll bring a thousand, a thousand more. Back. Yeah. Agree. It has to be holistic. I gave you one example just now in my previous submission that the Santahini mm. has destroyed the chief yeah. for engaging in Galam Singh. Mm. Government has to work within that space of making sure that the small fish and the big whale, the bonsu, mm. are also captured within mm. that space. Yeah. So you do it, it has to be a dynamic enterprise. And also, as Dr. Mahamadou Baumier has stated, his vision is to make sure that now this trimakwe, we're going to now remove that from the equation. We are going to give you access to those geological surveys so you know that these zones are there. And we're reserving it for Ghanaians. Remember, SSM, small scale mining, is legal. Mm. Okay, what we're saying is that we're going to create that environment so that we can capture you, mm -hmm. those who are doing it legally, so that now you work within parameters. If you go, if you go working either underground or in water bodies, there are ways in which you have to operate. Yeah. One, there's no use of mercury at uh, water bodies because you're working within the law. Mm. That's yeah, why I gave yeah, the example. Yeah, of I, you okay. see, yeah, I think we are, it's the same thing we are all talking about. That is what the MPP wants. If you look at the NDC manifesto. Or we also said we have to streamline, right? Insight. But I think what yeah. the public wants now is a respite, an immediate ban. I agree. Then That's we have a respite. What we are all saying, yeah. then they'll buy into it. We are saying we will streamline, we will do it. All the citizens are saying now, no, give a respite. Yeah. Let's sit down. Allow the bodies Allow to recover. The, bodies, the water bodies to recover. Right? Then we can have the water quality engineers who would come and give us prescription. What and what do we need to do for the water to be able to become clean? I think that's and, what and, the citizens and, and, are asking for and now. And I, I agree you with see, you. But you see, the ban you're looking for is already in place, which is why we call them illegal. Let's not confuse it. Because I'm coming. Yes. I hear, I hear you. I'm on the same page with you. On this part of the conversation, Victor, I'm on the same page with you. But when you say, let's have a ban, Hmm. Somehow we're trying to say that the thing is legal now. It is not legal to do mining without the proper permits. It is not legal. That's why you call it illegal small-scale mining. So as a lawyer, you need to capture your... Yeah, con con yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm coming. I'm not denigrating what you're saying. I said I'm with you. Hmm. But when we say we need to ban, it's already banned. No, it's, well, you're, yes. you're talking about enforcement. 
Yes. I think that's the and, word you're looking and the for. And enforcement is the, not in uh -huh. place. So, now let's, so if the enforcement is not in place, good. no, even those so quick, who quick. are doing legal mining, yeah. some of them also say they encroach on their concessions. Yes. Yeah. They do. So all the people are looking for is that, so, look, let there be a respite. Let everybody come to the table mm. and let's see. Yes, we uh, know where the illegal ones are. The ones that are legal too are also stretching. Okay. The last right. So we Please, put let's, all let's, together. Let's, let's make progress. Okay. Let's yes. look at the, yes. the, the other call that the GJA president made uh, asking the president to um, release the remanded protesters. Let me start with you on that one quickly. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that um, what the protesters were doing were all about this illegal our water bodies and the rest. It is to just drum home. It's another call. And you know public opinion, demonstration and the rest to gauge public opinion what is happening. And I think that in the course of the demonstration, there were some excesses. I think that blocking the road was not right. Right? Um, maybe the leader also going to pick the key. I, I can't fathom why he would go you and go pick. remove the key. Yes. Yeah. If it is because the car was obstructing people, I think that that is a state property, property that you don't need to. I, I, I think it was an SS. Mm. But I think that whilst they have been arrested and the law gives the police and the state agencies 48 hours to process them, and within that, to be able, even if you send them to court, you see what makes it that the government is being even handed, right? Or heavy handed. Yeah, heavy handed is that none of them. So it is just like there is an instruction, there is a command that just put it before the court and tell the court that they should be remanded for two weeks. Mm. None of them. If it, if it was a bystander, they were not listening to that the gentleman who said he was from Mass, yeah. who was just by... It, I'm he, sure he, the he judge had... He like protester yes. because he was wearing white wire. Yes. And, and, and like see, if the yeah. judge has yeah. listened to him, they had taken their plea mm. and had listened to him, he would know that this was not part of the... So, you see, that's why sometimes our judges, you know, also have to be active. Mm. It's not the person that they just bring that this is a charge sheet we bring it, or we are doing more investigations. Mm -hmm. Then the moment they come and say that, then you remand them. That has been something that the judiciary sometimes come against. Mm -hmm. But because the system, the way the system is, is an order from above mm -hmm. coming to you. So your hands have been tied. Mm -hmm. You have been told what has to be done. I'm a lawyer. When things happen that way, we can see through. We can read through. But I think... There are few people, when you listen to the facts of the case, why they've been arrested, they've been part of it, you can read in between okay. and say, I'll yeah. give you bail. Thank you. What they can be done, mm. I think can be done is, there are two things. You see, the states, the attorney general can file a nolly prosecutor mm. and say, look, enough is enough. I'm not interested in the matter. Yeah. The other way around is that the attorney general or the police or their lawyers, they should agree then they file for a review mm, for bail. Okay. Or they file proper bail. First one, I'm sure it was oral. So now they file a bail properly. The time, because uh, in one of the cases, Frank Bene, those mm -hmm. times on mm -hmm. the uh, narcotic cases, the courts have said clearly that when it comes about the liberty mm -hmm. of the people, yeah. you don't need to waste time. You can come today, provided the people have been said okay. tomorrow, you can be in court. Okay. So if there is that willingness that, look, let bygones be bygones. Yes, we've punished them for some time. Um, you know, the law also says that we should not use uh, bail as a form of punishment. Mm. So you don't bring me to court. You don't listen to me. Then you say, go back. Mm. Go and be there for two weeks because they say they haven't finished mm. investigation. The law says, no, right. okay. you should look at it. So I think that there have been several yes. calls they are not saying that they were right. The courts have condemned yeah. some of the excesses, mm. and I think it is time to listen to some of them. Okay. And let Thank the people you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, quick, well, I think the call is legitimate. Mm. Uh, we have to, in many instances, temper justice with mercy. Yeah. And I think you have to look at the holistic argument mm. 
for the release. And I think you can do it on a case-by-case -case basis. Yeah. You mentioned somebody who was coming from mass, mm. was wrong place at the wrong time, mm. caught in a dragnet operation. Mm. It's like maybe you're out, let's say, midnight somewhere mm. in your yeah. area, and there is some yeah. uh, cocaine or marijuana mm. or wee operation. Mm. You're just there doing your own thing, mm. relaxing, and you're on the wrong place, and then they catch you thinking you're part of that mm. gang of marijuana smokers. So it happens. I think if we can... Uh, I'm, I'm talking the judges, look at it case by case mm. and determine those who are misdemeanor yeah. and where there's clear violence against the state, then you can look at those individuals separately. Yeah. But other than that, I think we should temper justice with mercy. Okay, final topic. Uh, consumers to pay more, this is from channel1news.com, uh, consumers to pay more as PRC increases electricity and water tariffs. A uh, quick bite here. The new tariffs are effective uh, from October 1st, 2024. It starts as saying the Public Utilities and Regulatory Commission has announced a 3.02% uh, percent increase in electricity tariffs and a 1.86% increase in water tariffs for the third quarter of 2024 for all categories of customers starting from October 1st. Ibrahim. It was back in February of this year mm -hmm. that the PURC announced that there would be these incremental changes. And the reason why they've done that is to also assist the, the service providers. Okay. I'm talking the electricity power generators and, of course, Ghana Water. Water. Where you have, using Ghana Water as an example, the costs of the chemicals mm. to actually purify the water and make it you know, potable, safe to drink and yeah. bathe in, when those costs go up exponentially, there has to be an adjustment yeah. uh, in that sense. Uh, and then, of course, you have exchange rate fluctuations coming in. Likewise, from what I've been reading and researching, um, the lack of natural gas within the system, because you need that to actually power the turbines mm -hmm. that then produce electricity. Mm -hmm. So again, those factors, uh, the PURC, the Public Utility Regulatory Commission, also is listening to the service providers, ECG, yeah. Gridco, Ghana Water, and saying, we are you know, having a difficult time, mm -hmm. and so we need some relief here. Um, you mentioned that all categories. Well, I came across that those who consume, those on the let's say, lifeline mm. category, yeah. uh, less than you know, 300 watts per month for usage, would not be affected. But oh, really? you're saying there yeah, the that story all, we categories, have all categories. Okay, yeah, because yeah, mm. I came across something different. Okay. That at least those who use less electricity, mm. that increment would not apply. But I don't want to debate that issue. That's, we that's can, fine. Yeah. Uh, even reporters can be wrong mm. yeah, <laughs> or, or miss a fact. Sometimes you consume information mm. and think it's a gospel truth. Yeah. Then when you look at another source or go back and say, maybe let the PURC comment mm. and see what happens. But these are the reasons why. But within that space, um, government's policy mm. moving forward is to now get most people off grid okay. um, in terms of what we're doing within that Re, uh, re, renewable solar, so, yeah, solar renewable solar. energy, yes. and I think that, yeah. that's yeah. the way that we need to go okay. more in terms okay. of making sure that we put in policies, mm. as Dr. Mahmoud Baumi is doing, to say that this will then somehow vitiate any increments because mm. if we have less dependency on thermal, yeah, uh, you know, uh, uh, what do you call it, and uh, hydro yeah, and HFOs, all that, yeah. the heavy mm. fuel oils. Mm. Uh, no, well, hydro you need hydro it in, in, in terms of when, when there's a drought. Okay. But these thermal gas and HFOs, every few oils, if we can somehow create a, a bigger mix of renewable mm. solar, as President, uh, Vice President ba ma ma Mahmoud Baobi is now doing, we can again, moving forward, create a situation whereby these increments can be. Uh, lessened, if okay. at all, you'll all see right. a, a huge reduction. Okay, thank you. Final bite on this one. Yeah, yeah. You see, um, the increment by PRC is an independent regulator, puts mm. so that um, it balances the interest of the producers and the consumers. Um, yes, I've done some few things on this energy thing. If you really, really look at it, what you see, and also they make sure that the inefficiencies of the producers and the generators is not transferred for them because the cost, customer will ultimately pay for it. Pay for yeah. it. So if the power losses, the distribution losses, they are high at the end of the day, 
DRC sets a target. Mm -hmm. And now because of it has been deregulated, we have the regulated market and regulated market of this, the increase. Now, one of the difficulties when it even comes to the PRC, I can tell you, sometimes the debate that goes on between the utilities and the PRC the before they come, mm -hmm. because they are supposed to become every quarterly mm -hmm. before they come, it's not an easy thing. Yeah. Even because of the fluctuations of the dollar, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, sometimes PRC will have to peg the dollar at a certain point for the utilities. So they make losses. Mm -hmm. So okay. let's say it is at 16 now. Yeah. The figure maybe PRC had given them that they will use in calculating is 12, mm. 12 cities. Mm. So no matter the amount, there you is FX losses. Yeah. Yeah. So they try to balance the interest between yeah. these people there. Okay, please uh -huh. wrap it up. So please. I know government also, it is one of the commanding has a critical thing that we need. Mm -hmm that they will also want to get into it and make sure people are able okay. to, I sometimes sympathize with mm -hmm. the uh, utility companies, especially the water, mm -hmm. uh, what we are getting, where we are getting now, if we are not able to clean mm -hmm. our water bodies, it will be going up. Yeah. And whilst it goes up, All at right. the end of Thank the day, it's mm -hmm. the same citizens yeah. All right. Thank because they will push it yeah. to yeah. us. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. All right. So uh, we've been uh, speaking this morning. Uh, and thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you very much for coming through. i uh, be speaking this morning with Victor Kujuga Adawudu. He's a member of the NDC Legal and Communications Team. And Ibrahim Ajay, he is Assistant Secretary uh, of the Office of the President. We'll take a quick break. And there's some more music coming on the show. And there's a lot more conversations as well on Breakfast Daily. You don't want to miss out.